hi and welcome back to my channel today i want to show you how to paint cabinets i'm going to give you a supply list with all the materials that i use to paint the cabinets and also i'm going to show you how step by step how i do it i'm not a professional painter but i want to share with you what i learned in a class that i took on how to paint cabinets the right way so i want to share that knowledge and what i learned in that class with you guys so you guys can do it at home too okay so let's do it here are the tools that you will need to paint the cabinets. The complete list will be under this video with a link that will take you straight to that item. And also I will explain every single one of them, that way you know what I use them for. This is the electric sander that I use. It's a very good one. I like this one a lot. And that is the disc that I attach to the electric sander. Um, they have different numbers. Those numbers means 320 usually you use to sign it down after the primer and 120 is for before primer and here you can see uh, 100 to 120 kind of smooth everything out and 80 to 60 usually they use to remove paint if your cabinets were paint before and you want to remove that paint you can use 80 or 60 but if your cabinets never been paint before you can start with 120 150 to smooth everything out then add the primer and after the primer you can use a 220 or 320. if you don't want to spend the money on an electric sander you can also use a sanding block it will do the same job. It's just a take a little bit longer with the sanding um, block, but it will do the same job. You just have to add the sanded paper this way, and then you just sand it down like that, and it will do the same job. So if you want to save a little bit of money, you can do it this way too. Or well, sometimes I use both. I use the electric sander to, for bigger areas. In the small areas, I just go with the sanding block. So this is another option. So remember, 150 is before primer. You sign it down before you do anything with 150 and then primer. After the primer, you can use a 220 or 320. I like to use this bucket when I paint the frames of the cabinets. So I just put a little bit of paint there and I usually paint my frames with a roller. I don't use my paint sprayer gun to do this. I just do it with my roller. This is the roller that I use. It's a four inch roller, and this one is a specific for cabinets. So make sure you use a good roller. And this is a tap cloud. I use this right before I'm going to apply the paint or the primer to wipe down any dust. Make sure your area is nice and clean before primer and the paint. This is the primer that I use. It's a shell eye based primer. I love this primer, it's super good. And also sometimes I use oil-based primer. I usually use this one for old cabinets. Uh, it's better for old cabinets. But if you don't have old cabinets, you can go with shellac um, primer. But either ones are very good. The main thing is make sure you use a primer um, before you paint. Primer and sanding down is the key to have a cabinet that is going to last for a long time and also um, a good quality of paint is very, very important too. Benjamin Moore had this um, advantage paint and satin. I use, that's the one that I use. Uh, that paint is good. You want a good primer, a good paint, so your kitchen cabinet can last for a long time. If you don't have that, in three or four months, they're going to, the paint is going to come right off. So that are the main thing, signing down, primer, and a good paint. And that's the gun that I use to paint but you don't have to have a gun you also can do it with a roller uh the first uh, cabinets that i paint i did it with a roller uh, i was scared of the gun uh but now i feel comfortable with both so you don't have to have a gun uh spray gun to do it you can do it with a roller that will be fine you will do a great job with either one this is the type of alcohol that I use to clean my paintbrushes and my paint sprayer gun. So make sure after every use you clean your paintbrushes and your paint sprayer. Because if you don't do it, you're going to ruin them. And these ones are very good brushes, so you want to keep them for a long time. So all you have to do is clean it with that alcohol and the paint will come right off. And this is another type of uh, brush that I like to use. Usually I use this one to apply primer or wood filler. So make sure you clean your brushes. 
So let's start it. The first thing you have to do is remove all the doors and remove all the hardware from the doors. You can use a screwdriver for this or you can use an electric one like my husband is using in this video. And please don't forget to label your doors. If you don't have any pulls or handles and you wanna add them, you can use this special tool that my husband is using here to do the measurements so he can place the poles and the handles in the right position. This is another option that you have if you want to add them to your cabinets. Now let's paint. So after you remove all the doors and the hardware, make sure you clean your frames and your doors very well. You can use TSP or any type of degreaser to clean uh, your doors and your frames. After everything is nice and clean, make sure you sign them down with 120 or 150 sandpaper. And after you finish sanding down, make sure you wipe everything down very well, remove any dust before you apply your primer. Here I'm using my brush to apply the primer in the little corners because the roller will not reach those areas. So you can use your brush to apply the primer there and then your roller to apply the primer in the other areas. Just make sure you use a little bit of paint. Don't put too much paint because then it will start dripping and then it's going to be a lot of sanding down later on. And just do it very gentle. Don't press too hard. Just light pressure and just go all around the frames the same way. And that will help you to have cover everything covered, right? So just take your time. And you can paint your doors to a roller. You don't need a spray gun to do this. You, you can do the frames and the doors with a roller. And I will show you later on how to do the doors with a roller too. So make sure you apply all your primer very well everywhere and after your primer is dry then you can start sanding down and smooth everything out you're going to use a 320 or 220 sandpaper for this part after you finish on sanding down the primer now you can start applying the paint this is the type of paint that i use it's from benjamin moore you can tell them to add any color or use any color you just take the number if even if from another brand you can use any color you just tell them which one you want and they will do it for you and i use satin paint here i'm adding a little bit of water because the paint is too thick for my paint sprayer if you're using a spray prayer i recommend to use a little bit of water um uh, to make a little bit more running so it can work better with a spray gun. But if you're not using a spray gun and you use your roller, you don't have to do this step. Before you start painting, make sure you wipe any dust out. Everything has to be nice and clean before you start applying your paint. And here I'm doing the size first before I do the top part. So you start with all your sides first and then you can move to the top area. And here I use a spray gun, but also I'm going to show you how to do it with a roller. With this uh, spray gun, it's just faster and also it gives you a more professional look. Um, with a roller too, but it's definitely better with a spray gun. Here I'm going to show you how to paint with a roller. Uh, make sure you clean everything very well before you apply your paint. All the dust have to be out before you uh, apply your paint. And when you use your roller, make sure you use a little bit of paint. Don't put too much paint in the roller. Like I said, then everything will start dripping if you use too much paint. And when you use your roller, just do light pressure. Don't do too hard, don't press too hard. Very gentle and make sure you cover all the areas. And you can use your rollers almost everywhere, even in the side area. Just some areas in the corner, you cannot use your roller. So you have to use your paintbrush for those areas. But here I'm using in the side, in the top part, anywhere you can use your roller, use it. And then the parts the roller cannot reach, you can use your paintbrush to paint those areas. 
Wait 24 hours before you apply your second coat of paint. I usually do two coats of paint with all my cabinets. After your paint is completely dry, then you can start restyling the doors, the poles, the handles. I usually wait 24 hours to do this part because I want to make sure everything, all my paint is completely dry before I, I start putting everything back. And this is before I start painting this pantry uh, cabinet. And this is the after. I hope you guys like it. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe like and comment if you have any question i'll be happy to answer and i see you next time